welcome back to another episode of KLKE the podcast. I am one of your hosts, Hadley Wirtz. And I am another one of your hosts, Lexi Langley. Welcome back, everybody. We're so happy to have another episode with some amazing students here at BYU Hawaii. So we have three of the coolest students that I personally have ever known um, here with us today, and they're here to talk about the hip hop club here at BYU Hawaii. So we'll just have them introduce themselves. Sure. Uh, thank you. First of all, uh, my name is uh, Shania Dutt, and I am from the islands of Fiji. I'm majoring in biochemistry, and I'm currently serving as the president of the hip hop club. Hi, um, my name is Prince, and I'm from the Philippines. I'm studying um, tourism, and then yeah, I'm one of the choreographers for the hip hop club. Hey, my name is Sarah. I'm not in hip hop club, but <laughs> I am here for the culture and to be part of that conversation. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining us. So first, we just kind of want to hear from Shania about what is the hip hop club? What's its purpose? What is what is it? All right. Thank you. Um, yeah, that's a very good question. <laughs> I have actually have quite the long answer, but I'll try and keep it short. Uh, in the eyes of the school, especially like uh, student leadership, the hip hop club is just another club, just like every club. Like the purpose is to bring students together out of their studies and whatever, you know, like a extracurricular activity. Um, and so the hip hop clubs falls in the special interests category. So you have culture clubs like Fiji, uh, Samoa, Tonga, China, Japan, and then you have special interest clubs like Hapkido and uh, hip hop club. And so <clears throat> um, I guess uh, everybody just thinks automatically that hip hop club is uh, dance. That's it. That's all it is for. It's just dance. And which is, you know, fair because that's all we've been doing uh, for the longest time. But because we've taken the name hip hop, um, I feel like that there's a need to educate people on the culture. And so <clears throat> hip hop club, uh, like I said, for the longest time is for people to come together and dance, you know, uh, express themselves, have a space to dance and enjoy in the music that they like, the styles that they like. Um, and that's that's what we're doing right now, yeah. Um, but uh, there have been uh, um, points uh, where I uh, realize, you know, uh, the name hip hop, you know, it it's not just dance. It belongs to a group of people, and uh, we need to acknowledge that. And so um, it's great that we are a club that brings people together through dance, but now I feel like we are slowly transitioning into the more culture part. So we're more than just a special interest club, really. We are also a culture club. Um, might be a stretch <laughs> for now, especially for the school to like acknowledge us as a culture club, but uh, I think, um, and I'm really grateful for this part podcast, first of all, you know, to be able to talk about that. But uh, yes, um, for now, it's just... Uh, uh, we just want it to be a space for everybody to come and uh, just uh, enjoy dance because, you know, everybody, a lot of people like to dance, you know, and they want to come together and learn from other choreographers or they want to teach themselves. And so that's, uh, I think that we've been doing a good job in that aspect, the dance part of it. And that's what Hip Hop Club is for. So everyone can feel comfortable and in included. So yeah, basically. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing that. And I love that as as president, you're wanting to sort of make those changes of mm. of make of aiming it more towards mm. um, just the culture and in including all aspects of that. And before we dive more into the culture, I'm just curious, when did you, Prince, because I know Sarah, you're not a part of the club, um, but Prince and Shania, when did you join the club and why did you decide to join? Well, I'm I'm actually new to the club. <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> president. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, well, before I turn time move to Prince, because he's actually been in the club longer than I have, but um, he's one of the people who introduced me and sort of gave me that opportunity to choreograph and therefore become president. Um, yeah. So I'm I'm a sophomore, and so I only became president like two semesters or one semester ago, and so like I don't know how that <laughs> happened, but okay, um, she's doing yeah. a great job. <laughs> yes, so yeah, I've just been I feel new, but I also feel old at the same time because it's so awesome just like choreographing everybody and getting to know all the members. But yeah, Prince, how long have you been? In? Um, it was COVID. <laughs> 
that time 2021 oh 2021 wow. yeah because yeah, i got here like 2021 wow and it was like kind of rough like all the clubs are like shut down all the clubs are like not like performing and stuff right yeah. and then i just got off from you know from dancing style like that like that like that part and then one of the kid brandon everyone knows brandon mm -hmm. the singing brandon, <laughs> the singing brandon. <laughs> <laughs> <Now> yeah, <I> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he told me he's like hey bro we know you uh oh, you like you dance a lot too dude. so you do want to like rebuild or like restore hip-hop clubs like oh i'll be down because you know that was like summer so i was like ah there's nothing to do so why not just like and then we our first dance is like hip-hop fall new student orientation fall when everyone's like arrive and stuff and then that's the time when i was like I'd, I'll try to give in I'll try to give everything that I know about hip hop and everyone comes Shania comes some choreographers come wow. and that's the time when it's like oh shoot we're growing we're like building mm -hmm. a family like more into like it's like oh shoot so <laughs> me and Brandon the, the senior <laughs> we're Pioneers like, of we're the like, club we're like right, we out <laughs> we're giving it to the new generation the new generation yeah. build it and step back yeah. I love that we're just like awesome. right now we're just like um, guiding like you know we're just yeah. like the guides like Paving especially the Shania because we know the capabilities of Shania is. Absolutely. like That's she's awesome. like the one that really in like giving all the choreos and stuff right now especially for culture night because yeah. me and Brandon's like ah, we're busy so <laughs> well, like people were excited. Yeah, it takes it takes an army. That's yeah. that's so awesome. That's so that's so cool to hear like the backstory about that. Yeah. So now jumping into kind of the culture of it, um, Sarah, what what can you tell us about the culture of hip hop? So I'm gonna keep it a hundred. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it with you. Yeah. Um I am Jamaican and I think African American uh, hip hop ties really deeply into African American culture. Um, and that's where my, so it also ties really deeply into Bronx, New York, um, which is where my family in the U.S. originate from when they immigrate from Jamaica. Okay. And so um, I don't know the most about it, but it's involved in a lot of the music that is predominant here in the U.S. So like hip hop influences rap, which is something that I love to listen to. Also, I listen to hip hop too. Like um, we can think about really big names like, <clears throat> like Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, <laughs> totally. Tupac. Um, those are just some like big names that are popular here in the U.S. But um, hip hop originated in Bronx, New York, in around the 1980s and 1990s. Um, it was a way to be able to express a lot of music, to be able to express things about community within that space within Bronx, um, to be able to express things about being with your brother, or things that they struggle with with um, gang violence, things that they struggle with, with their gangs, um, and also just talked about kind of the systematic racism that was going on in the U.S. and it still continues to go on in the U.S. and kind of just honestly using that as a platform to uplift and also to record history. Like if we think about, I, I think one thing that's so annoying and so stupid and very much a very colonistic idea about hip hop and rap is that it's like ghetto or it's inappropriate. Oh, yeah. But in reality, it's about storytellers putting their music down to beat into music. And who, who gets to say that history gets only be told in a textbook by a white man? Like, I think that history gets to be told in music with beat and about what's real, about pain and about unity, about the real perspective of what it's like to be in the Bronx and be a black individual. I was part of that experience because that's one experience being a black individual, not all experiences. Um, and so one thing that I love about hip hop is that it has a connection to the roots that I have to the U.S., which is New York, which is a combination of so many things. Um, and yeah, so that's a little bit about like hip hop. It's it's deep into black activism, uh, about rejecting colonialization and like kind of rejecting that and how we tell our story and be able to create in our own space. And we can see obviously that has not only stopped in New York, right, in the Bronx with the black community. Shania is from Fiji. Mm -hmm. um, Prince is from the Philippines, and I know that within the hip hop club, a lot of them actually aren't even black people. Yeah. I think besides Kenny, <laughs> like I think a majority of them are people from different cultures, and I think that's one of the most amazing things about being black and about black culture is that it connects so many people from everywhere. Um, and I think that I think that's one thing I actually really respect about Shania um, in her presidency is that she has made a conscious effort to be able to understand hip hop in context of its black culture. Because in reality, like, hip-hop is black, is part of black culture. Mm -hmm. It isn't all black culture, right? It'd be like saying that all of America is colonialization, even though a large part of it is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a part of black culture. And so 
I really respect that about Shania in the in the movement that she's had in her presidency is that she's like actually like talking and addressing that because if we're going to engage and participate in culture and someone else's culture we should talk about it and Shania has made proactive efforts to be able to do that and so I'm really grateful for her presidency and for her focus and for her awareness on that because as a black individual when I was watching Culture Night the other year and I saw that and I was like oh maybe I forgot and then I sent a message and then no one responded I was feeling bitter <laughs> and I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be honest about it I was like dang like sorry if y'all want to do it but like at least pay your respects you feel me Straight and up, so up. I'm really grateful for <laughs> this presidency and for Prince and for Shania for, you know, um, giving its respects, yeah. you know? Yeah. I really appreciate Love them that. for that. So. Thank you so much for sharing all yeah. of that. And I and Shania, Prince, the whole club, like, shout out to you guys for wanting to, to really inform yeah. people and stay mm-hmm. educated on it and to not – not let it die like let it be a part of something of the school i really love that and so are you guys with that are you guys incorporating i don't know activities that kind of help like talk like to talk about it talk about the history because i honestly had no idea that it originated in bronx that's really cool Uh, that's really fascinating so a lot of things that people don't know about yeah yeah, that's why we're here right we're here to learn and to be at a school where we have access to all of that i think that's super amazing because there's Mm -hmm. a lot of places that don't have access to to be so in an environment that is so open to Mm -hmm. to sharing about cultures so yeah yeah what are some things that you guys are hoping to do to kind of yeah uh definitely for so my when i first got here um my first semester was when we did a culture night last year um and these guys were in charge and i was so excited to perform like with them for the first time and whatever and um (laughs) (laughs) yeah um however i felt something was missing sorry no offense but (laughs) (laughs) um i felt like um there needs to be because an important part of the hip-hop at least the elements there are elements and i'll let prince talk about that later one of the important elements is knowledge and i think that was missing and so was like other things like graffiti and these other aspects that helped the youths or the people back then um, the ones who started it. And so in my mind, I was like, okay, if I have the slightest opportunity to um, contribute or like, you know, just do something about that, I will. Like maybe, like I just thought, if I if I had the chance to choreograph next year, this is how I would do it. And lo and behold, um, <laughs> here we are. <laughs> so here I am. Um, this is kind of like, this was in my mind, like my goal. Like I always told myself, like, you know, we, it might be a slow, um, how do you say, like a transition yeah. uh, of people thinking we're just a dance club into think people thinking we are a hip hop culture. Because right now, like I said, people just say dance. Like you guys are going to dance. It's like, and, and when I talk to friends, oh, why are you guys in hip in culture night? I said, why not? We're a culture. <laughs> like, you know, that's why we're in culture night. And so um, in our performance this year for culture night, we definitely, I mean, uh, we wanted to make it theatrical at first, like to show the whole, but uh, we're not quite there yet. Like, <laughs> but we are starting so i would say this performance is a start um at least for um just uh, appreciating the authenticity or like the roots of it so it's um we're trying to tell a message at least not a story yet but we're, we're getting there um so this this performance um like she said, it's uh, very diverse, like all our dancers are from everywhere, but we are showing um, people how it brings all of the cultures together, but at the same time showing how um, it is viewed and how it started. So our performance is actually structured in a way to show, um, like how Sarah just mentioned that uh, people associate, like to associate hip hop with gang violence and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I mean. A lot of people think, oh, oh, hip-hop music is just all about guys rapping about girls and objectifying them mm-hmm. and stuff, but it's it's not. Um, so our performance is structured, like how people view it, 
So it's going to start off like a reckless, like, you know, all this gang vibe and stuff. But then we're going to show that it's actually fun and it actually brings people together. So uh, that's to me, incredible. that's wow. a start. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> to I me, totally I think see that's it. a, yeah. yeah no, I see that <laughs> completely. That's yeah. amazing. And so, and I've also like, um, and people have also associated hip hop so this is my pet peeve <laughs> they have associated mm. hip hop with tiktok and i'm like no oh, bless no, their no, hearts. no 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 <laughs> and, and that, i'm just yeah. like you guys will be doing hip hop <laughs> yeah will do so good for that yeah and i was like no yeah. i'm i'm sorry that's not it cuz like TikTok, dance you TikTok's know tiktok's taken the hip hop move yeah yeah, yeah. they steal it a lot, a lot. i hate that cuz people lot. i'm like you know and like i like i don't want i don't want anybody to be like oh my i'm so nervous like uh, Oh, you're not like I've come here and I've figured out so many things about different cultures. I think that we all have yeah. access to certain cultures more than other places. Like if I grew up in Fiji, I think I would have so much of a deeper understanding of like the Indian roots that also come with immigration yeah. there. And like I wouldn't have even known that if I didn't come here to Hawaii. And so like when people come from like when people come to BYU age from like so many cultures within Oceania and Asia, of course they're not gonna know like me as a black person who knows about black culture. Oh, and I think like like just grace and i think most definitely like they have like hip-hop clubs has done that so like amazingly like you guys are so open to like hearing that now and i'm so grateful this presidency and like you know people see tiktok and they're like oh, okay this is my first intro to black culture no. i'm like yeah you know it's an intro <laughs> that's like, you know what i mean small it's, small the, it's a preface you know what i mean it's yeah. like when you open up the bible and you see yeah. you know this is the bible you know that's whatever it. It says the i haven't read it but like you know what i mean we all know that the bible is so much more yeah so like I think with this performance, like with you guys kind of like telling what, breaking those stereotypes of what hip hop is, mm. it'll help continue to like, you know, okay, like you saw TikTok. Yeah. All right, there's more. And then <laughs> there's maybe Afro World. And they'll be like, okay, so there's <laughs> so <laughs> much more that yeah, we don't see. I was going to say, are we going to see a collab? Yeah. Ooh, I think do. Oh, oh that would be oh, exciting. That that would be I, <laughs> I can't do it. Like, Oh, I want to dismantle the stereotype crazy. that all black not people can yet. dance. <laughs> I break that stereotype that all black people cannot dance. <laughs> but I can learn a number or two. And um, I think actually, didn't we have a, a combo dance? Yeah, the, the last opening yeah. social. Yeah. That was, that was good. It was Wait, so that's so fun, actually. It. Yeah, we did. Yeah. It was a hit. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, you guys really should do a good. closing one, and yeah. then I'll come. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 do like yeah. a do like a like a combined Afro world. I, we might. We just might. <laughs> that would be that would be really that cool. That was really good. I, like people were complimenting like the music taste. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we all love part of the USA, but yeah. it has to play. Right. Yeah. Okay, I have a question. Kind of sure. going along with like the cultures, and you all could probably contribute to this. But both of you were talking about how you are making trying to make the change of bringing not only highlighting like the black culture within hip-hop but also bringing other people in from everywhere kind of into it how would you guys say that hip-hop looks different in different cultures or does it kind of all come from the original roots of it like how does that look cross cultures because you're all from different places Mm. but you're all involved in hip-hop so um i think for me because me growing up I think it's more into like, because everyone has his own understanding about hip hop. Sure, you know? yeah. Mm-hmm. Everyone thinks, because hip hop consists of four elements DJing, MC, MC rap, breaking, and then graffiti. It's like more into like me growing up, like watching different types of movie about dance, like Step Up, right. Burn to Dance, like mm-hmm. watching American Best Dance Crew. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot of movie, like TV shows, right? You guys know that. Yeah. But, um, me growing up it's more into like hip-hop is not just dance hip-hop is more into like because my definition of hip-hop is art and lifestyle because hip-hop is alive yeah till now so it's more into like how you diverse on it how you respect on it how you put effort on it because it's not just about like oh i'm a dancer I'm a hip hop dancer. That's what they call on TikTok right now. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> no, you're kidding. No, you're kidding. Okay, that's a little much. Okay, I was just thinking that you did like a little TikTok, be like, oh, it's a little part yeah. of hip hop. Let them call themselves hip hop dancers. Yeah. You know. Which is like, I mean, I respect the ones that do TikToks, you know, because I mean, it's, yeah. But you can do hip hop on TikTok, yeah. but you can't yeah. say that TikTok is hip hop. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, yeah. no, no. So it's like more into like, like sometimes we do like, how do we like, what Shania said about our performance for this year's culture night it's more into like how are we gonna go deep into it not just because we're hip-hop club like we're dancers 
we're performers. It's not just about that one. We're more into like we'll try to uh show a message, like send a message to everyone, like oh this is real hip hop. This is not just hip hop, hip hop. Because everyone probably thinks about like some performances are just gonna be like oh they're probably just gonna put TikTok dances, like the basic ones. <laughs> yeah, probably. they're just gonna be like oh they're, they're excited, they're like they're gonna be putting wow, that one, that one. But name. yeah. <laughs> 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 but but us we're more into like this year we're, we're like more into that not just this year but probably the the start one like to yeah. be more open that not just to educate probably I don't know how to say that word how to use that word but yeah probably it's more into like everyone will think that hip hop is not just a normal you know yeah it's it's a family because us I always said that was I'm always gonna be proud of it hip hop club is not just we're just d- dancers. We're building a family. Yeah. We're building a stronger right? foundation because you know we we came in different countries. It's like an escape. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like an escape when you're stressed at work, stressed at school. Just be like ah. So that's why we do some sessions every Wednesdays and Saturdays. Mm-hmm. Sometimes we said sometimes like oh we should have our members do some sessions, do some practices, like at least like to grow. Absolutely. Yeah. And like a way to express yourself, like you said too. It's how people told their stories and their history and like express themselves and it's a way you can still do that absolutely connecting back to that the roots of it and as a choreographer how do you implement that storytelling oh that's a good question not gonna (laughs) lie uh so as a choreographer i mean based on experience like i've been dancing my whole life i mean it's like uh i don't know it's like dance is life for me right right now at some point (laughs) Like, doing choreography, especially the message of it, it's just going to be something that makes the choreographers or the the one that do the piece, like, going to be more, let's just say, crazy of it. Because me and Shania were talking about that one, like, last November for our last performance, right? More likely. Like, how are we going to do, like, what sequences, what performance, or mm. what, what numbers are we going to be doing? Mm-hmm. It's more into, like, a process on learning. So it's just going to be more into, like, if you guys go to the different competitions, like there's a lot of competitions outside, like Vive, Hip Hop Internationals, World of Dance. Those are like mm-hmm. the Olympics of the dancers. Right. If you like, on my experience on that that part, it's more into like when they send a message. But right now, especially in this generation, it's not about um, how you do the dance. It's how you send message through dancing. Right. Those are my my like. That's how I see the dances right now. It's not just about like, oh, they can do flips. They can do like perfect numbers, right. combos, blah, 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 blah. It's what story that those yeah. movements create. Yeah. And you a- are essentially the like the master of creating the story, basically. Yeah. It's yeah. always yeah. you and how you like show the world like this is our piece. This is us. This is our name. This is what hip hop means. This is like, you know. That's like, so that's powerful. Beautiful. Yeah. yeah that's mm-hmm. very powerful. Yeah. Um, I think for me, um, I also have been a dancer for my, well, I feel like I was a choreographer my whole life. My mom threw me into choreography when I was like 10. Um, (laughs) yeah, she, I actually started with Bollywood dancing, actually. Hip hop was introduced to me later on, like when I was 15, I think so. Um, and my first uh, achievement as a choreographer was with there was this competition in Fiji. I'm just gonna talk a little background. Um, it's called Tanra Kahani, and in F- Indo Fijian language, I'm an Indo Fijian, and so Tanra Kahani means dream story. So it's kind of like the vibe competition. You gotta. It was a competition for high schools. So cool. Like, cool. <laughs> yeah, you gotta put out a ten-minute performance telling a story or advocating on something. Uh, it can be like anything in the school, bullying and all these little issues that high school students face. And then it w- went up to issues in the community. So ours was on road safety. Like that. That's a topic that's yeah. probably so hard to cover it. But we we did it, and that was my first time choreographing, and I actually won an award for that. But like, <laughs> wow, so <Yeah>. cool! Oh <laughs> and this was goodness. done through That's dance. Amazing. Yeah, it was That's done amazing. through dance. Like we were struggling to 
put on stage how do you show a car accident and how do you recover from that and wow. advocate road safety awareness you know what yeah. i mean like when i think about it now it's crazy that like, seems so abstract <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> i know i don't know how we pulled that off but anyway <laughs> um yeah we won and um so for me like ever since that time i recognize hey man i think i have a thing for choreographing directing so i've been choreographing and the process for me is like um one thing that really helps me is wordplay um wordplay like that's like when you actually listen to the lyrics and make up moves for each of the um the words or a certain phrase and that really helps in storytelling because not only are you trying to show off your dance moves but you're also telling the story that the singer was trying to tell right and um and so like you're focusing on their lyrics right and trying to bring it to life like how I don't know I don't know how it goes but like they say dancers are like the music in people I mean like the what is it like if if music was a person it's a dancer yeah yeah okay there we go something cool. like that <laughs> wow. and so like wordplay is a big thing for me I still have a lot but um for this performance specifically we have a section where um wordplay is telling our real message of uh, our performance and that's uh, finding your voice uh through the culture of hip hop um you know if if we cannot uh, tell the the um the whole history of hip hop culture in our performance at least we can tell what hip hop has helped people to do and that's find their voice because the african americans used hip hop or created hip hop as a vessel for them to um let their voice be heard and so that's what our performance is and it's uh to the song by Eminem Lose Yourself <gasps> he's <laughs> he's oh my goodness, okay. like yeah, yeah like his lyrics man hands down like not like i mean we all, all can agree that Eminem is a genius when it comes yes, to absolutely bars and everything <laughs> and yeah. so i i was i've been listening to that song since last year and i was like i want to put this on stage like and it has a good message like that's one yeah. song he hardly swears so it's yeah, good yeah um, it's the perfect one <laughs> that's a bonus um and you're right it has it honestly does have it does yeah. cuz he's message. telling us to lose yourself in the moment you know grab that opportunity yeah. and you know um i'm like i ha- i was like i have to have this song it was hard trying to do the choreography for that one not gonna lie it was really hard but uh, we and i have faith in my members or my dancers that they're going to pull it off and no, it's it. like that moment there it's just silent i mean the song is going on but it's like serious yeah. and they're telling stories with we're telling stories with our hands and our feet and i hope the audience understands it and um yeah it it's just like as a choreographer it's uh, what i keep telling them is like for now don't stress yourself on the moves um try and feel it just try and feel the, the message yourself. that he's yeah, telling yeah the song. like cuz he before we start moving it's he says um what is he says but he keeps on forgetting um cuz like he's talking about himself trying to get on stage and start but he's going through you yeah. know he's throwing up yeah. mom spaghetti <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so <exactly>. you know <laughs> like yeah. he's nervous and everything so he's talking us talking us through like what he's going through before putting yeah. on a show And so I'm telling the dancers like you got to act like you are going through something right, but yeah. when you dance you like you know you're owning it. it and so Yeah and as as performers and as storytellers if you're if you're thinking too hard about the choreography if you're not letting yeah. yourself just do it and let it and just trusting your body you're not going to be telling the story because oh, yeah, the audience so. knows yeah. and yeah. and I love that you guys are you guys just I can see how creative <laughs> and in like intelligent <sighs> you guys have to be in order to create such a beautiful story on stage mm-hmm. and I'm just so grateful so that we you guys have been able to come and like share a little bit of your brains and and the work <laughs> yeah. that goes into creating all of that and yeah. we just have like two more questions for you guys sure. before we close this podcast we just want to know what do you wish people knew about your club and is there anything else you'd like our listeners to know Sure. Um you want me to start? Um uh, <laughs> Okay, there it goes. Like what? Like sorry, what's the question again? Like just, is there anything that you wish, wish to know? they knew about you or just anything you'd like yeah, to say about, about the club? The club yeah. Um probably it's more to like cuz they think hip hop club is like really hard to do. Like a choreographer. <laughs> mm-hmm. Choreography. And so everyone says like oh we can't dance like just, I mean not gonna lie. <laughs> One of my everyone knows about it. I can't change the way how I choreo. It's always just going to be teach hard for them. Like I can teach. Like for, I can't count. 
Like <laughs> that's good. Like I can't count one, two, three, four, five. five six, I seven, really can't eight, do that one. Can. I'm more into like ta 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 ta. Oh, you ta-ta-ta, can't do ta-ta-ta. count. Yeah, yeah. okay. Ooh. Ooh. It's like five, six, six. seven. That's tough. He doesn't. I can't do that one. I'm more into like <laughs> like more da, into, da, da, like da, da, yeah. And then that one, and then the song. I like yeah. just one feeling of, it. Yeah. You just feel it. Because yeah. more into like one of the workshops that I attend, attended back uh back home. His name is Scott Forsyth, the leader of um. Um, the brotherhood cool. he said like um, when you teach when you perform and you heard the lyrics it's more into like try to feel that you're the singer just like Chris Brown mm-hmm. whenever he perform it's like it's like the way in my whole life like yeah. that one right it's like, it's like move, <laughs> lose 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 like more into like that one Absolutely. so me I'm more into like okay step one two ta 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 Ta, More than ta. music Yeah and then it. It's yeah. like the way And ta 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 yeah. ta So more into like I really Feeling hope it. they're not scared like, Yeah <laughs> It's too late man yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You just gotta feel it You just gotta go and enjoy it Yeah it's more to like the That's not that's the thing about I like Like how Shania Do all the As a leader yeah. How she handles the members And how she Open up uh, Like the hip hop club It's not just You can just like have fun Come join yeah. That's it that's a I love that. Like, Thank you so much. Like, like yeah. That, yeah, like that's the only thing that that's one of the things too. Like, um, me is like for it's it's not a competition. So yeah, it, this is just like an open space for yeah. us. Yeah, like, it's not about who's the best. Yeah, yeah. yeah like it's always like if you want to perform, message us. Uh, if you want a choreography for this week, message us, Mrs. Shania. That's really cool. And cool. like I wanted to teach this one, this one, this one. And they were like, okay, then the floor is yours. Yeah, it's always like yeah. no, awesome. really that's such like a welcoming like familial space that y'all are building and i think that's incredible yeah Mm -hmm. Yeah. um if so for me um it would also be that like just come and like enjoy um but if there's this like one thing um that i would want um whoever to know about our club um apart from the fact that we are a culture like i mean that's something we can say ourselves i've been going around pcc telling everybody like hey <laughs> come watch us at culture night you guys performing yes we are a culture <laughs> anyway one thing that um really i think from this podcast you guys were talking about especially with our like um expressing yourself the inclusivity um, something that I've been thinking about a lot is um, because I have a relationship with uh, my members that I I know a lot of them personally um, and some of a lot of them are comfortable with coming to me and just telling me things like hey like I'm going through this and I, I I'm I'm okay like I I really I don't know I feel like I should be a psychologist or something but <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it's it's like fine with me I like to hear the stories so that I understand more yeah um hip hop um it also is a safe place for um everyone and when i mean everyone i also mean especially those our lgbtq um brothers and sisters because if you think about it in their respective cultures you have that um that thing that you are expected to be a man you are expected to be a woman in your place. You have to be, especially in the Polynesian culture, you have to be a man and, you know, do what you expected of a man and stuff. You know, the gender roles, right? right. Especially in, in in their respect. But when they come to hip-hop, they can be themselves. Like, do you, do you get yeah. what I mean? Yeah. They can a way be, to express yourself. Yeah, yeah, like who they really, really are. And that's where you see the real them. You know, um, I know being in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, like we don't support um, the LGBTQ, um, but we love them. And hip hop right. culture, I feel like is a is a way for them to love themselves. I you know, that. they're ev- they're able to come and uh, dance however way they want. If they want to dance like more feminine, more masculine, they can. I but if they that. do that in their culture, they will be looked down upon. Especially but in hip hop club, it's so celebrated. It's, it's celebrated. Like, <laughs> yes, girl. Like, <laughs> yeah. Do it. <laughs> do it. Like, it's not, it's, it's just the open and safe space um, for these uh, brothers and sisters of ours. And um, if ever there was a, time or like i felt like there were times uh, where hip-hop was not respected or like not seen as one worthy to be like a culture or anything like that 
um that's like it it breaks my heart because like we are providing space for those who don't have a space in right. their own cultures and so I hope that makes sense. No, like, that's you know, totally makes sense. <laughs> Thank you so much yeah. for sharing that. I I feel like that is just so it it puts the hip hop club in a whole new light for me because I honestly yeah, had no yeah. idea about any of this and I yeah. and I love that it just really is a space where people can come and just be themselves and express themselves, and yeah. have fun and learn and just have a good time and listen oh, to yeah, music yeah. and make friends and it yes. it honestly <laughs> sounds like such a an awesome club and I'm personally i was not able to join culture night but i am in the club and yeah. i am so i'm so happy to be in the club and we're just really grateful that yeah. you guys were able to come on this podcast and kind of share share a little bit about it so thank you. thank you shania and prince and sarah for enlightening us and yeah, yeah thanks thanks so much oh thank you for having us thank you. <laughs> doing incredible things all right. Well, that is it for this week on Kalakai the podcast. Um, thanks to all, all of our listeners. We hope you learned um, as much as we did on this yeah. this episode. And we will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.